glad you could join us on Aviation this week on Channel's television. I'm Bukola Joe Oketumbi, and it's good to be back with you. According to the Air Transport Association, a person could fly every day for about 4,000 years without being involved in an aircraft accident. That's how safe air travel is. Findings from past accident investigations have resulted in many changes in the way the aerospace industry operates. How this safety recommendation from past investigations impact on aviation safety is our focus. Our background report is up next. Air travel today remains safe, thanks in part to accident investigation. Findings from accident investigators pave the way for important safety improvements in aviation. Like the changes to pilot duty and rest requirements that address the pilot fatigue problem that was a factor in so many accident reports. These changes are preventing accidents and saving lives. An aviation accident is defined by the Convention on International Civil Aviation, Annex 13, as an occurrence associated with the operation of an aircraft, which takes off between the time any person boards the aircraft with the intention of flight until all such persons have disembarked. Where a person is fatally or seriously injured, the aircraft sustains damage or structural failure or the aircraft is missing or is completely inaccessible. If the aircraft is destroyed or severely damaged so that it must be written off, it is further defined as a whole loss accident. Annex 13 further defines an aviation incident as an occurrence other than an accident associated with the operation of an aircraft which affects or could affect the safety of operation. The accident investigation process is fairly simple on paper but can be complicated by intangible things like politics, legal action and international differences as well as physical demands such as rough terrain or post-accident damage from weather. Remember that in aviation, when it comes to asset investigation, most of these things, everyone is committed. They don't charge money per se. So they do it at their own time, depending on the amount of pressure and the urgency. So they, it, it does take time to the engine uh, tear down for two engines takes time, man hour, and then analysis. Then the suspect components were taken to different MROs and different uh, equipment, um, original equipment manufacturers, we call them OEM. And uh, it takes time from one stage to the other. Anyone you consider very challenging, you see the next one, as also very all of them, there is no little accident that you can say this one is uh, the most challenging. Though you have issues, especially in gathering uh, information, in management of uh, information, writing the reports, in presentation of what actually happened to the public, it has to be done by the rules. There are many parties and factors involved in aircraft accident investigation. As outlined according to international protocol, air crash investigations are handled by the country in which a crash occurs. In the United States, the National Transportation Safety Board is the government agency that investigates all major aviation accidents and does offer help to other countries. Here in Nigeria, the Accident Investigation Bureau is the government agency that investigates all major aviation accidents. Its purpose is to explain accidents and provide safety recommendations. In the 10 years of its operations, it has released 120 safety recommendations. In 2017 alone, 10 accident reports were released with 35 recommendations. And just recently, the federal government set up a 10-man committee to review the recommendations to measure the level of effectiveness with a view to enhancing aviation safety. That's because safety recommendations are as critical as the investigation itself, as it is the lever used to effect safety changes and improvements in the aviation industry. On our interview segment, the Commissioner for Accidents at the Accident Investigation Bureau, Akiola Teru, is our guest. And he insists safety recommendation from the investigation process is critical to air safety. 
accidents, incidents will happen. It's normal, unfortunately. As long as you, you have human beings operating these machines, there are bound to be errors. And the whole essence of what we do is to prevent. I'll give you an example. Uh, like the Dana crash, the first Dana crash, that uh, everybody died, 2012. There are safety recommendations targeted at Dana itself as an airline on training of crew, CRM, crew resource management. There is one that targeted a boy in the aircraft manufacturer. The FAA released a um, bulletin that all operators of this aircraft should do X, Y, Z. Is to prevent future occurrence. That comes from safety recommendation. Uh, say training, you must train up to this category. They must go through these checks before you release them. NCA should ensure this, this, that, that. That is the kind of what we call safety recommendation. Uh, company A, this happened. This is what. This was the reason why it happened. But please, to prevent future occurrence, make sure. It is checked by two people, not one anymore. Things like that. So safety recommendations are very, very critical to uh, air safety because uh, it's for the flying public. This is the whole essence of what we do here. Implementation rate, so far, it's almost 85%. Yes, we are safe. You see, let me, what made the number drop to 85%? I'll give you an example. There is an airline called G. Uh, sorry, there is an. There was an operator called Gito, the construction company. They operated an helicopter. The the company is lo no longer in existence, but there were safety recommendations targeted at the company. So, the company is dead. There is no way you can. Um, so that affected the number as well. Uh, somehow. Because the way we do our accident investigation, we make sure we carry all the stakeholders along to ensure our safety recommendations are real, not just safety recommendation for safety recommendation's sake. And we discuss this. Like the recent Dana crash, we invited two of their members to be part of the uh, uh, download to see to hear themselves, what transpired between the, their pilot and the controller. So we make sure we make everybody that is necessary be part of our investigation. So by the time we issue the safety recommendations, yes, we don't have power to enforce. You too, you want to be safe. We don't have 